Let us prepare detailed tables to come up with the solution for the problem statement. This will be useful even for us to explore all the standard transformations using SQL. If you are using our environment, you might already get a database with your OS username underscore retail underscore db along with your OS username underscore retail underscore user with the password passed to you. All the permissions on the retail db created for you will be given to the user created for you. However, if you are using your own environment, you can actually leverage the psql create the database create the user grant the permissions to the user and then you can take it further let me demonstrate how you can actually create the database user and grant the permissions for retail so in this case i am connecting to the server i am connecting as super user because i do not remember the postgres password the way you can connect to super user if you have sudo permissions is like this sudo hyphen u postgres psql if you are using psql client without sudo you need to know the password for postgres user and this is how you can actually connect psql hyphen capital u postgres hyphen h localhost hyphen p 5432 is the default port number and hyphen capital w then it will prompt for the password you have to enter the password you will end up in the interface like this then you can actually run the commands like this to create the database this one will take care of creating the database for you once the database is created you can create user in this case i am using a simple password called as retail password in your case i would highly recommend you to use a bit complicated password once the password uh, is uh, assigned to the user created you can actually run this command to grant all the permissions on database itversity retail db to itversity retail user now itversity retail users should be able to create tables get data into the tables delete data from the tables so and so forth as the database is set up now you can actually come out of this run this command with the username then uh, hyphen h with host hyphen p with port hyphen d with the database and then hyphen capital w with with password it will prompt for the password you just have to enter the password in this case the password is nothing but a retail underscore password and hence i am copy pasting this and i am inside the database itverse retail db as user itversity retail user now you can use this backward slash i with the location of the file you want to execute first i want to create the tables and then load the data into the tables let me open a new tab here and let me connect to the lab by saying itversity at ilms.itversity.com and then you can see the location of the files which is nothing but slash data slash retail underscore db this is the script which can be leveraged to create the tables and this is the script which can be leveraged to load the data into the tables now i can go here then say slash data slash retail underscore db then create underscore db underscore tables underscore pg dot sql it will take care of creating the tables for us now you can use backward slash i data retail db it will autofill load db tables underscore pg dot sql to get the data into the tables this will take care of inserting or loading data into the tables using the script now as the database and tables are created we should be validating whether the data is there in the tables or not i'll be using jupyter hub to validate you can either use sql workbench or psql to validate whatever is convenient to you you can use that to validate to use jupyter hub you have to set this environment variable to connect to the database and hence i am setting this uh, environment variable called as database underscore url with the database string this is sql alchemy style database string if you are using uh, sql workbench you just have to make sure that your sql workbench is connected to to this database and then you should be able to run queries against it to use sql magic we have to load this and hence i am running this just validating that i am in the right database you can see that i am in itversity underscore retail underscore db database you can also validate whether the tables are created or not by running this query you can see here there are six tables you can also run backward slash d here to list the tables that are created in this uh, database if you are using ides such as sql workbench you should be able to use database explorer and you should be able to view the tables directly using uh, wizards to validate whether the tables have data you can actually run these queries with the limit 10 you can see 10 records from orders 10 records from order items and 10 records from products you can also get the counts from all these tables when it comes to orders it contains 68883 records when it comes to order items it contains 172198 records when it comes to products 
it contains 1345 records. As we have successfully loaded data into the tables and also validated, now it is time for us to explore all the transformations and then come up with the solution for our problem statement.